Hi, this is Ellen from The Chili Dog. Over the past few months, I've had a number of subscribers, followers, and friends ask me to demonstrate how to cast on using the Addy Flexi Flip or Flexi Flip Bamboo Needles. Most have been especially interested in a simple cast on method that doesn't involve holding your yarn in the slingshot position. So today I'll show you how to do the cable cast on in the round with your Addy Flexi Flip Needles as I begin another secret admirer sock. The cable cast on starts with a slip knot and even though this technically is not a long tail cast on method, I am going to leave a very long tail. I'm casting on 62 stitches and my yarn tail is going to be about five feet long. So make a slip knot that tightens and closes when you pull on the working yarn and slip it onto your knitting needle. And you want to make sure that the knot tightens up when you pull on the working yarn. And also right now this working yarn is at the back of your needle. Since socks are worked in the round instead of back and forth in rows, I'm going to do a couple things differently than I would for a traditional cable cast on. First, I'm going to cast on my stitches with the yarn tail instead of with the working yarn. So I need to make sure that my slip knot is positioned on my needle so that the working yarn is here at the front of the needle and the yarn tail is at the back. And I'm going to move my working yarn out of the way while I'm casting on. Casting on with the yarn tail instead of with the working yarn solves a couple common problems that can occur when you do the cable cast on in the round. And I'll go into a little bit more detail about that later. For now, I'm going to begin casting on all my stitches onto a single needle and I'll rearrange them later. This slip knot loop counts as the first stitch. So let's zoom in and start casting on. Insert your right needle knitwise through that first loop. Wrap your yarn around the right needle and pull it through. Now we need to transfer this new stitch from the right needle back to the left needle. And when doing a cable cast on, many knit knitters will twist this stitch when they slip it from right to left and this creates a firmer edge on your fabric. However, if you just slip the stitch purlwise without twisting it, the edge is going to be slightly more flexible, which is actually an important characteristic when you're knitting socks so that the edge of the cuff doesn't dig into your leg all day. So slip the stitch back purlwise, insert your right needle knitwise between the two stitches, Tighten things up by pulling on the yarn tail. Wrap your yarn around the right needle. Pull a loop through. Transfer it purlwise without twisting it from right to left. Insert your right needle knitwise between two stitches. Pull the yarn tail to tighten things up. Wrap your yarn. Pull it through, transfer the stitch purlwise, insert your needle between the two stitches, pull the yarn tail to tighten things up, wrap the yarn, pull it through, and transfer the stitch purlwise. And you would continue on in this manner until you have cast on all of the stitches that you need and are ready to transfer the last stitch back to your left needle. So I'm going to continue casting on and I'll be back when I'm ready to transfer that last stitch. Before you transfer the very last cast on stitch from right to left, bring the yarn tail forward between your two needles and then slip the stitch from right to left purlwise. 
this prevents these final two stitches from leapfrogging over the top of each other as you start knitting in the round. And it also ensures that this pretty slant that's happening around the edge of your cast on is going to continue in the same direction when you weave in your yarn tail later. Now that all of my stitches have been cast on to a single flexi flip needle, I need to rearrange them onto two needles so I can begin working in the round. And to do that, I am just going to slip half of my stitches purlwise without twisting them from one needle to the other. So just slip purlwise. I've divided my cast on stitches evenly onto two flexi flip needles. And before we start knitting, it's important to check to make sure that the edge of the cast on is parallel to both needles. And here's what I mean. Here you can follow along this edge of the cast on and it's parallel to both of the knitting needles. What you don't want to see is stitches so that the edge is twisted over. So here you can see, here's the edge, and then it twists over the top of the needle and behind it, and here's the edge again. That's what you don't want to happen. So let me straighten things out a bit. And we'll zoom back out. Once your edge is parallel to both needles, all you need to do is to fold the edges together. I'm gonna just move my yarn out of the way here and kind of turn things. And again, you'll see that the edge is still parallel to both of the needles and it never twists over the top of either needle. So now we're ready to start knitting in the round. So we would take our working yarn and a third flexi flip needle and we would start knitting with this stitch right here and then start knitting in the round. But before I do that, I mentioned earlier that casting on with the yarn tail instead of with the working yarn solved a couple issues that can occur when doing a cable cast on in the round. So let's talk about that for a moment. First, since I cast on stitches with the tail instead of with the working yarn, right now as I begin knitting, I am looking at the knit side of the cast on. Had I used the working yarn instead to cast on stitches, I would see these pearl bumps along the edge of the right side of my fabric. That's not necessarily wrong but it's not the effect that I want in my sock. I prefer to start with this flatter edge on the right side. Second, if you have ever knit socks before, you know that it can be very easy to get a noticeable gap in between on your cast on edge in between the last cast on stitch and the first stitch you knit in the round, unless you do something special to close up that space. In this case, using the yarn tail to cast on virtually eliminates the problem without having to do any special stitch work. And here's why. This is my working yarn. And when I use it to work this first stitch of the round up here, I'll pull on it and pulling on it causes the very first slip knot we made to tighten up. And when that tightens up, it's going to close up that gap so it doesn't even open up. Also, when you're all done knitting your sock and you're ready to weave in your yarn tail, pulling on this yarn tail tightens up the very last stitch that we cast on. Hence, no gap. Now, let's start knitting in the round. For my pattern, the few, first few rounds are in garter stitch, so I'm going to be starting with a knit round. 
my I'm going to start by knitting into the last stitch I cast on right here and working across this first needle. So I've slid the stitches down to the needle tip so I can knit. The stitches on the other needle are held here kind of at the center of the needle. And before I begin, I'm going to pull this yarn tail forward and just out of my way so I can start knitting. So then I'm going to take my third flexi flip needle, insert it knitwise into my first stitch or whatever direction your pattern calls for. Slightly pull the working yarn so that it tightens up that slip knot and then I'm going to knit this first stitch. And again, making sure that this first stitch is snug, tightens up the slip, slip knot, tightens up the first stitch and make sure you don't get a gap there. And if that first stitch, the cast on one opens up a little bit like mine has, don't fret because later, again, when you're weaving in the tail, you're going to pull that tail and it's going to tighten that stitch right up and no gap. So now I'm just going to continue on knitting all the way across my knitting needle. Once I get to the last stitch of the needle, I am going to slide my stitches down so that they're at the center of the needle instead of right on the tips. Rotate the needle so that I can start working across the next one and slip the stitches up to the tip. Again, take that third needle and start knitting. And you'll find that once you get a few rounds in, that shifting the stitches becomes a lot easier. These setup rounds, I mean, just like any time you're casting on stitches in the round, this first round or two can feel kind of fiddly. So don't be nervous about that. It gets easier with each round. So just continue knitting and then from this point when you get to the end of the needle you just slide the stitches to the center rotate and start knitting across the next needle i hope you enjoyed learning how to do the cable cast on in the round on your addy flexi flip needles and if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends also if you'd like to try this technique in a pattern head over to the shop section of thechillydog.com and look for my secret admirer socks. Until we stitch again, happy knitting!